you're part of the lab helping to put a rover on the moon. What is it like to work on Moon Ranger? Uh, Moon Ranger is a autonomous micro rover that will explore the south pole of the lunar surface in 2022 to measure moon ice. The south pole of the moon is a very, very cold place and there are craters at the south pole of the moon. And in these craters, they don't really get sunlight. And so that allows for ice or hydrogen to be stuck in these craters. And so that gives us an opportunity since they're stuck to go to these locations and, and use science and this amazing technology that will be aboard the Moon Ranger to measure that, that hydrogen content. Hydrogen can be used for rocket fuel. It can be used obviously for drinking water. It can be used to uh, grow vegetation. Uh, so food sources, uh, water is a very valuable resource uh, for us to be, to have on the moon. Astronaut snowball fights will be a lot easier. That is also um, something we're looking into. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this incredible work, trying to land a rover on the moon, hundreds of thousands of miles away. But you're also doing this really important work back here. Can you talk about your role with the Black Graduate Student Organization here at CMU? This year, I am the secretary of the Black Graduate Student Organization at CMU. And with that role comes a lot of responsibility, especially with the social climate of uh, the nation and really the world. We are often in and out of conversations with leadership to better understand how CMU can better serve underrepresented and underprivileged uh, groups of students, um, make a better impact in the greater Pittsburgh community when it comes to DEI, and, and understand its responsibility as an institution. This is one of the biggest civil rights moments in our country's history. With the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and far too many others, people have taken to the streets demanding change. What are your feelings on this moment in time? And what do you think needs to happen for things to improve? I think in order to really address this, we have to not ignore that it's a problem first. So understand that it's very much happening and there's no way to deny that it's happening. And then secondly, there has to be a lot of unlearning and relearning. So a lot of, of what we, we've been taught to believe about America um, and its history sometimes leaves out the truth and history of marginalized groups. And with that being said, it's our responsibility as individuals, as citizens of the U.S. and global citizens for us to take the time to really understand how things have come together and, and how and why we are in the, the situation that, that we're in. The problem is not us versus them, it's us versus the problem. Once you own the truth, then we can move forward together. What advice would you give for a student trying to, to get into a university like Carnegie Mellon? The only difference between me and someone who's not in graduate school was the access and the opportunity. It's the pipelines that are, that are allowing us to be in these spaces. I am a product of Inroads. I'm a product of Nesby. I'm a product of GEM. And these are all different pipelines that have been put in place to get minorities into these amazing opportunities at these amazing universities. So oftentimes, what's stopping people like me, people who look like me, people with similar backgrounds from these opportunities is a lack of resources. They don't know about these opportunities. They don't have enough money to pursue them. And so these pipelines removes those gaps so that that is no longer a problem. Something I really want to note is that once we're in these positions, once we're in these opportunities, in these spaces, we are held to the same standards. We have to meet the same requirements. We have the same expectations. So the only thing that's stopping us from, from getting there is the access and opportunity.